Hello and welcome back everyone to another video. Today we're going to have a discussion about something I've wanted to talk about for quite a while and that's improving Golden Gun. I don't think Golden Gun is seeing a whole ton of play right now even in a casual sense where it's actually not too bad to be honest. But again casually it's not seeing a whole ton of play in things like Quick Play, Iron Banner, etc. And in competitive or like more competitive scenarios it's definitely not seeing a lot of play in my opinion from what I could tell at least. I think a lot of the issue is that Golden Gun just isn't at the place that some other classes are in terms of how strong their neutral game abilities are as well as their supers. There's classes out there in the game right now that have incredibly good neutral game and strong neutral game abilities and do not at all lack a very strong super. Things like Bottom Tree Striker, Spectral Blades, etc. The list kind of goes on. Not that I necessarily think that Golden Gun needs to be at the level of something like Bottom Tree Striker. But I do think it does need to be pushed up a little bit to be more competitive with other subclasses, something like Arc Strider. People playing Hunter usually still take Arc Strider over Golden Gun. Simply because Arc Strider has a really, really good neutral game, one of the best, and still a pretty strong super. Maybe not the strongest, but still really good. I'm not particularly certain if there's anyone that would be against a Golden Gun buff. I do think there is a more surface level analysis or argument that some may make well it's a one shot from anywhere you know the super is insanely strong because you can one shot anything at any point instantly but I think that's very very surface level analysis and in execution there's a lot more that goes into the class and what makes it strong or weak than just that point and I think if you've used Golden Gun in at least the 4v4 competitive playlist or a more competitive setting of any sort, you'll see it's not quite as simple as just one-shotting everything. And that's of course because against really good players, they're going to play around your Golden Gun. They're going to play to counter you, they know what you can and can't do, and force you into scenarios that are not the most favorable for you. I think you can kind of understand this by now, but I'm not so much talking about Blade Barrage. I'm talking about in this video how it improve the top and bottom tree gunslinger classes the ones that actually use golden gun as their super so let's talk about how i would improve these skill trees let's start with top tree the way of the outlaw and my focus on improving this class would be improving its neutral game i think its super is incredibly powerful already it's very easy to aim with it's got a ton of range it's very very strong high kill capacity hypothetically at least so i think it's very strong already but it doesn't really have a good neutral game or barely any neutral game presence at that. So first starting with the explosive knife, I really don't think I'd do much to this. Maybe you could kind of justify ever so slightly increasing its blast radius, but again I don't really think anything is very necessary here. Now let's talk about Chains of Woe. So this perk gives you increased reload speed on getting precision kills for you and any nearby teammates. And on top of that, it does stack up to three times, resetting the full duration of it and improving your reload speed again for you and your nearby teammates. So this is a perk. I think this is a really cool perk because it's got a team dynamic to it. And I think that it can be improved as a way to improve the neutral game of Way of the Outlaw. I think that this perk can continue to give you that increased reload speed per precision kill and keep stacking it, but how about adding a handling bonus on top of that as well? So it actually improves the handling and reload speed for you and nearby teammates and that would have an effect that stacks up to three times. And maybe, I'm not sure if this would be too powerful, let me know in the comments if you guys like this idea or not. Maybe perhaps it can grant that reload speed buff that's stackable, but just give you flat out quick draw for you and your nearby teammates. I don't know if that'd be too strong or not, like I said, but that could be pretty good in terms of neutral game. Every precision kill, you're getting quick draw. I think I'd also maybe increase the duration of this from 10 seconds currently to 15 seconds. However, I think I'd only increase the duration if we were giving just a handling boost instead of flat out quick draw, like max handling. If it was max handling and quick draw essentially, I'd keep it to 10 seconds. I know at a glance this isn't the most powerful sounding effect, it's not some sort of lethality boost, but I don't really think we need more of those per se. Blade Dancer did have quick draw as a standard, flat out continuous effect. In Destiny 1 that made it quite powerful so I think having this effect granted on headshots would actually be pretty cool on Gunslinger to give it a little bit more of a neutral game. I wouldn't change the super really, I wouldn't change Deadshot or Six Shooter, both of these perks are incredibly strong already 
and like I said, don't really need much changes. The super hypothetically gets the idea of a very high kill capacity, and it's quite forgiving considering it has pretty much like last word rate of fire, and it's very easy to aim with, and has incredible range and consistency at range, so I really don't think anything needs to change with the super because it's quite strong already. Now let's talk about the bottom tree, where the sharpshooter, and I think this is the lesser played of the two in PvP, even though this is actually one of my very, very favorite classes in the entire game, and I love using this in PvP. I think the idea of the class is fantastic, but it's just not strong enough currently. I'd focus on improving this class's neutral game, but ever so slightly, but more so the super's purpose and potency is really what I'd focus on improving. I think the class has an emphasis on precision, which is pretty cool. And the top tree golden gun gets of course that high kill potential that I talked about, the idea of it at least, hypothetically. And I think that conversely, since bottom tree is actually capped on how many kills it can get in comparison to the top tree or even other supers in the game in general, I think the main benefit of bottom tree way of the sharpshooter's 3 shot golden gun should be long durations and good stopping power. Firstly, let's talk about Practice Makes Perfect, our first perk, and this perk boosts your super regen simply from landing headshots on targets. In addition though, if you do get precision throwing knife kills, not normal throwing knife, headshots with the throwing knife that result in a kill, you do get quite a chunk of super energy in return. Since this perk gets you to your super faster, simply for having good fundamentals, landing good shots, and precision, I really don't think there's anything to be done to this perk, and there's really no changes necessary. Now let's talk about Knife Juggler. So this allows you to throw a precision throwing knife, not like the top tree's explosive one, a precision one, that can get bonus damage on headshots. Currently, I believe it does 131, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on that, but basically, I would like to see a boost to the precision knife damage. I don't think it should have a higher damage to the body, but only to the head, higher damage output. I think it should be more rewarding to hit a headshot with a throwing knife and I think a higher damage output for headshots would allow it to be comboed with more weapons where you can get a headshot then throw a throwing knife and hopefully if you land that and you take the risk and you land it you're rewarded because it'll just pop them and get the kill for you. Right now it really only combos very well with hand cannons because they're high damage output but not so well with some other weapons and I'd like to see more viability in comboing that with other weapon types. I hear a lot of people and I see it in my comments sometimes talking about the throwing knife should one shot. I I gotta say, as someone that loves playing this class, I really don't ever think there should be a world where a throwing knife can one shot. Like, just a basic throwing knife being able to one shot in the head is, in my opinion, not okay. I do not think it should be able to do that ever. However, maybe if we wanted something that would work towards that but would be pretty difficult to do, Perhaps Knife Juggler could grant a damage boost for a limited amount of time where after each knife kill you get a small bump to damage and maybe resulting in after two throwing knife kills consecutively you can get a one shot or something along those lines. Something really, really difficult to do. This would work because you'd only get the damage buff to the throwing knife on throwing knife headshot kills only and then getting that headshot kill of course because of knife jugglers perk inherently as it is now would refund your knife and you'd have a few seconds to get another kill and then go on and on and maybe after two or three kills it would allow the throwing knife to get a one shot something along those lines that would be really difficult and really niche and maybe impractical that would be really cool if you pulled it off However, I'm not sure that with the proposed changes I have to change the super, if this and that together would be too powerful, but let me know. These are just fun ideas that I have. So let's talk about the super now, the way it behaves, and its perks, crowd pleaser, and line them up. So like I said earlier, I think the benefit to playing this bottom tree since you're capped on kills should be the duration of it being able to last pretty long, giving you enough time to get those headshots. Currently, the durations of the super are with no headshots, 10 seconds, with one headshot at the start of your super, 13 seconds, which is a 30% duration boost, with two headshots at the start of your super, 19 seconds, which is a 90% duration boost, with one headshot at the middle of your super, it gives you 11 seconds, which is just a 10% duration boost, and then two headshots mid super will give you a 13 second super, which is a 30% duration boost. I think as a whole, this super, this skill tree needs a duration boost. The base duration should be increased, and I think the gains that you get from each headshot and where you get them in the duration of your super should be increased as well. A big issue with the super is that it's not nearly as forgiving in terms of rate of fire, being able to spam it, and aiming in terms of how much aim assist it gives you as the top tree. 
but it's still weak to all the same things the top tree is weak to as well, like people hiding around corners with shotguns, baiting you into a more advantageous angle for them, and because the skill tree isn't as forgiving, you have less chances of actually trading with them or actually getting the headshot that you'll be going for. So increasing the duration would give you a little bit more ability to bait people out of cover, chase people, etc., get them into an angle where you can really get the headshot on them and continue on. I was a little conservative with my numbers, but it's just an example and just an idea, of course. I'm not sure how broken or maybe not significant enough this would be, but let's say the base duration was 12 seconds and one headshot at the start of your super gave you a 16 second super, when two headshots at the start of the super would give you a 22 second super, and one headshot mid super would give you a 14 second super, and two headshots mid super would give you a 16 second super. I think that's just a little bit more generous. Again, not sure if that's significant enough or if that's too broken, let me know in the comments. Anyways, those are just some of my ideas on how I'd improve Golden Gun. They're just my ideas, they're not the be-all and end-all, and they might not even be good ideas, but I want to do more videos like this, just fun videos where I talk about some of my ideas, what I'd like to maybe see in the game, and perhaps this will open it up for you guys to have a nice discussion in the comments about what ideas you have, what you'd like to see, what you disagree with me on, what you agree with me on, what your own ideas are, so we can just have a fun discussion around this, and again, have fun with this. I'm also by no means a game developer, so I'm sure Bungie has a lot more wisdom and tools than I do in actually balancing these classes but again the purpose of these discussion videos is to create discussion and just have fun so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one